What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. We are going to do another modern cube draft here on the internet. But I'm going to try to combine two stipulations because I think they can both be done in the same draft. And I'm only doing this because I have a bunch in the queue and the cube draft ends tomorrow. And I don't know how many drafts I'm going to be able to get through. So I want to, I want to be able to get as many as I can done. Um, so the first... But the, the, here's the thing. The stipulations aren't really... Only one of them is card related. The first stipulation is from Fragged Camper. Each pick has to have something in common with the last. Each pick restart. Each pack restarts. I want to see some logical gymnastics from Fragged Camper. And the next one is So Salty 90, who says the dialect stip. Play whatever you want, but you and Mike have to speak in British and or if you can, any other dialect you can. I laughed so hard the last time you did this. So we're doing... The picks have to be related to each other. Some way we have to like logically make sense of it. Correct. And we have to use an accent of our choice. While yes. Doing it. Because only one of them is like related to the picks themselves, which is why I think it's okay. And the other one is just kind of a modifier on that, on that okay. stipulation. So, uh, all right. All right, mate. going to do this. Uh, it's, I wonder how many times I'm going to say. I don't think we have to start until the pack opens. Okay. Well, should I just. I mean, if you want to practice, go for it, but... Oh, well, Mike's like, I'm not going to talk for one second longer than I have to in this voice. Oh, son of a biscuit. Oh! Done goofed. Okay, cool. That works. Not the plague. What's going on, dude? Bobby Biscuit Boy Balboa. That's a good... Thank you. All right. Nephrium, thanks so much for the resub, man. Really appreciate it. David Bird Myers, thanks so much for the resub. Really appreciate you guys. Thank you, thank you, dude. When I call you up, my mind's engaged. I have this Beatles song stuck in my head, and I don't know why. Someone probably said you won't see me in chat or something. I don't know. You're really good at getting songs stuck in your head. You're really good at getting songs stuck in your head. That's how Michael sounds in my brain sometimes. Man, this cube is slow to fire right now. Dude, this companion nonsense in, in, in Magic in general is pretty wild, dude. Yeah, they seem to be kind of a problem. At least two of them do. Hey, where is my sing song stip? I don't have any Juposhi, I don't have any stips by you. I do have a stip by nature's little treasure, but not by Juposhi. Weird. Interesting. That's weird. Can I hear your best tea and crumpets? Not yet. Not yet. Magic staying power is honestly one of the most impressive things in game. Yeah, because they can literally do anything in any set with any amount of like it's just wild. They're like, let's make these cards that totally like change the entire game. It's just a free card in your hand, basically. And what are they going to do about it? They'll complain, but they'll play. My battery level is critical. All right, mate. Oh, you ready for this draft, huh? Right on, right on. Well, I don't know what that accent was. Is that Matthew McConaughey? Yeah. All right. Uh, what's the first pick here? You like an Ugin? Hmm. I mean, I, I can't. Hmm. I'm sorry, what's that? <laughs> My, this is just Mike's not just going to say anything. He's just not going to talk, so he doesn't I have to do that. I was thinking about the pick. Yes, but usually you communicate when you think about the pick. Right now, you're not communicating at all. That's not true at all. I don't do... Oh, man, I'm so bad at this. This is hard. Oh, I'm going to take Ugin. Oh, I don't even care what Michael says. I think I think when I try to do British, it defaults to Australian. Oh, Gilded Lotus could be good, but I don't... Okay, it has to. we have to connect the next card to an Ugin. This is a dragon. It's a spirit dragon. Oh boy. Oh, this is gonna be this is gonna be rough. 
deals three damage. It's a legendary plane. So oh, they're both colorless. Oh, that's pretty good. I like that. See, Mike's just not going to say anything at all for the entire draft, and that's his contribution. He's just going to sit here in silence and hope we don't notice, and he's going to hope he can get through as much of the draft as possible without having to say anything. He doesn't even respond to that. <laughs> <laughs> that's hilarious. I'm bad at this. All right, we took another... I keep thinking about it in my head and I can't produce it out of my mouth. So then you fucking try. That's how you do with things when you're not good at them, Michael. I know you're not used to it and you expect to be good at things immediately. And if you're not, you give up. But sometimes you just got to try, Michael. I got two colorless cards. You have to figure something out that matches with these colorless boys. This is also colorless, but that seems like kind of a cop out, but maybe it's not. These both add mana. That's cheating. I'm sorry, what? I said that's cheating. Cheating? Yes. <laughs> it, took him, it took him so hard to even just say yes. <laughs> yes? I'm going to take steam vents. And the, con the the connection is that they both produce mana. Um. Oh, this produces red and this is a red card. So I like that. And I think that's pretty good. I'll take it. <clears throat> I'll take it. Michael has no contribution whatsoever to this draft, whether it be <laughs> through the voice or the picks, uh, because he can't do the voice, so he can't make the picks. So that's really what it comes down to. Chandra also produces mana, so there's a combination of both producing red mana, being red, and, uh, you know, uh, you get it. You understand. Alright. Last pick was a Chandra. She's a red planeswalker. She produces mana. She deals damage. <sighs> Michael literally has nothing to say. He's just going to sit here in silence I'm for the sorry, entire I just, draft. I like, can't do it. I, I, it doesn't... Like, I can't form the words. and It just doesn't work. <laughs> it doesn't work all of a sudden. He just can't do it. And he just won't even try. I'll take a Sacred Foundry. That seems fine. Oh, and is it Signet also produces red mana and is colorless? Looks like we're going to play some form of Jeskai. Michael Michael B just doesn't uh, doesn't have doesn't have any opinions. He just doesn't know how to play Magic at this moment, so that's all right. I just can't do. I just can't do it. I just can't form the words in my mouth. <laughs> that's Michael B for you guys. He can't form the words in his mouth. Another artifact. These are both artifacts. Uh, both produce red. Uh, I feel like there's a lot more in common with magic cards than I thought there were. Because, like, even here I could be like, well, this they both have red mana symbols on them. I kind of like Batter Skull. I also like Dragon Skull Summit. Um, good gravy. I'm just going to take the Batter Skull because I don't think we're... I don't think we're black here. Oh, Stoneforge Mystic following the Batter Skull. Both of these ha ha have the ability to produce artifacts and creatures. So I'm going to take Stoneforge Mystic here. And then we got a nice little uh, nice little Jeskai deck that's got some connections in it. Thank you. Oh, Stoneforge Mystic is definitely connected to Sword of Feast and Famine in the sense that it just finds a Sword of Feast and Famine. Moochel barely can speak in his own accent. It's true. Oh, Kim Possible 420, thank you so much for the resub. Really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Oh, we got Sword of Feast and Famine. There's no real connection to any of these cards. Ugh. Uh, this needs to equip onto a creature and this produces creatures? Uh, I guess that's what we've got to work with here. Uh, this gains life... Makes one ones. Hmm. I think Aurelia has lifelink. She don't. Oh, she don't do that? No, she don't. I mean, we're going to have to pick something here. Uh, I, 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 I guess if I had to say, I would say that they... This mentors onto this. This creates creatures to mentor onto. So that's pretty nice. Um, Aurelia is... A red and white flying creature. I mean... 
Michael has said about four words this entire stipulation. That's that's something here. Uh, we're running out of time here to justify these picks. These are both two mana creatures, I guess. Voice of Resurgence was default pick last time. Uh, scary to make it. He doesn't even respond to me saying he said three words, so it's very comical. I it, I can't explain it, but I just like can't. It just doesn't work. What doesn't work? There's more than one fucking accent in the world, Mike. It's not like you have to do one specific accent. I, I can't explain it. It's just like... What's that smell? You smell it? Did you fart? No. Someone farted. You don't smell that? No. Are you fucking for real right now? Just speak in literally any way that is not your normal voice. He still doesn't say it's on. It's, it's like a fro. He's frozen up. It's very strange to me. I I can't explain it, but I just can't. I, you you can't do any voice whatsoever. I. This is a very weird phenomenon. I don't know what's happening right now. All right, inspiring vantage. Seems good. We also have no blue cards. We just have is it Signet and Steam events here. We have two Planeswalkers. I'm just going to take the Inspiring Vantage here, I think. I'm just going to take the land. It's not my favorite land, but that's all right. It produces, it's a colorless card. It produces blue and red. We can't take a bribery with that. A Johnny taps down lands, which is pretty sweet. So these two are land-related things, and I'm just going to take the Johnny. It's just very, it's tripping me out that you're not saying fucking anything at all through this little draft. You're just sitting there and saw. It's I'm just, trying to make it happen in my brain to my mouth and it, I can't do it. An accent? You can't yes. do in any, any accent at all. I can't explain it. This is so real to me. All right. So we just took uh, a Johnny Vengeance, which is a Planeswalker. Khan is another Planeswalker. Maybe we should get some Mike some tequila. Do you guys have any Tequila? Can we get some drinks delivered to the house? It's Utah, so I'm not sure how likely it is, but I'm going to take a Khan Liberated, and then we get Khan, and again, we got Gilded Lotus, a Signet, a Chandra can pump us. Chandra takes us from five to seven, which is pretty nice. You don't go in the sideboard. You never go in the sideboard. Flooded Strand is a colorless card. Uh, I also remember Khan living in the Flooded Strand, so those are related in that way. That's not true. I just made that up. That's a little fake trivia that I made up for you. Is Michael still sitting in silence? It's hard to like think about what I want to say. Try you just to make talk. An accent you just talk. To, you say the words. Like you have to decide on what you want to pick. You have to do an accent and then like form it. And it just yeah, you're thinking too much. Just stop thinking and just talk. I can't. I can't. He can't talk, ladies and gentlemen. He can't talk. I'm gonna take the flooded strand because it's another colorless card. That we can use to cast Khan Liberated. And it gets both Sacred Foundry and Steam Vents. So that's pretty sweet. Alright. What do we got here? Spire Bluff Canal. We can have two of these slow lands. Which I'm not even a big fan of to begin with. <clears throat> Alright. Last card we pick was a Flooded Strand. It produces white mana. But. I think you can take a land. Oh see that's pretty good. I don't like this accent because it's kind of racist. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Aren't all accents inherently racist? See. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's fucking doing it. All right. So here's the thing. Flooded Strand has one line of flavor text. So does Monastery Mentor. So I'm going to take Monastery Mentor. Oh, interesting. Hmm. Both of these have one keyword and a very sweet ability attached. This has prowess and a sweet ability. This has haste and a sweet ability. I want to take the zealous conscripts. No, I think you can take Brimez <laughs> because they're both three drop white creatures. I don't want to take I don't want to take the stupid Brimez though. I'm taking this. And a very sweet ability. That's right. That's right. What was that accent you just did? What was the last one? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
All right, so we got a red three, three for four. What? What are we going to say? <laughs> Go say it. Say it, Michael. It was Russian. Okay, I'm getting into the swing of it now. I think I can do this one pretty good. He's coming alive, boys. He's coming alive. All right, we got Sorceress. Sp no, I don't care about that. I don't even know what I'm really... It's probably just Char, right? These are both red cards. They have one red mana in their casting cost. They both do a lot of damage. Well, maybe. Sometimes. Char is actually a card I'm, I'm more and more fond of as I play because it just kills Planeswalkers. It goes to the face. Yeah, this is Michael's 90s movie, ac movie bad guy accent, so... You know, it's what you get. It is all I have. It is... It is all he has. Also, I have noticed it is hard to start this accent without starting the sentence with it. <laughs> well, I don't know why. All right. Well, you know what they say. Char is a red card and this gets mana to cast the char. I'm going to take the wooded foothills. If I don't sound start my sentence with an I, I cannot do the accent. I don't know why. Where dragon's breath once burned, the bones now freeze. I just realized this is also now a Dracula accent. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, that's that's something, all right. I'm Trent. just going to go all over the place. He, he knows. Uh, you know what? This is better than you being quiet, for sure. Uh, we got Wooded Foothills. We was the last pick, Blade Splicer. These, this is Wood-Footed Foothills, a colorless card, and Blade Splicer makes a colorless creature. So I'm going to take Blade Splicer here. Um, oh, this is going to be tricky now, because <laughs> I really like this Chandra, but I don't think there's a way to... Oh, Blade Splicer makes a colorless creature. Chandra makes a colorless emblem. Huh? I think that is a bit of a stretch. It doesn't matter. They want logic. They literally want logical gymnastics in this, in this stipulation. All right, so we took a Chandra. Um... Anger of the Gods. Both of them have double red in the casting cost and deal three damage. So I'll just take the anger. Uh, how about an Arnold accent? Get to the chopper. How about a Hey Arnold accent? Michael, can you do a Hey Arnold accent? Can you do what a Stoop Kid accent, Michael? Who uh, remembers how Anger of the talks? Gods and Heliod is a god. So I'm going to take Heliod. That was a pretty good, that was a good stretch there, dude. Uh, these are both three mana white cards, so I think I'll take the Mirren Crusader. Probably play it as well. Uh, Mirren Crusader, I want this Ral. I gotta find a way to connect these two. Oh, Biscuits. They both have two colored mana symbols in their cost. And they both have three abilities. Double Strike, Pro Black, Pro Green, and this one has three loyalty abilities. And that is pack two. Alright, pack three. We get to What's a pick here, Michael? My Russian friend. <laughs> My Russian, Transylvanian, Mexican friend. <laughs> <laughs> I think... What was the last peak? It doesn't matter. Each pack starts over. You racist. Well, in that case, I think, I think you should take... I think Pirates of Dark. That's pretty good. Hot Master of the Fills. We're not even green. Why would we take a green card? Oops. You can see our deck down here. They show you the whole deck. This has been very hard for me. <laughs> <laughs> I am focusing too much on trying to do accents to actually understand. This anything has been that's very hard on. for me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having a difficult time. Michael Kane. Ah, oh, no. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Take the green card, Michael. We're not green at all. I I am having a difficult time. I'm gonna I'm gonna take face fetters here. At least I think this is entertaining. Oh, it's very entertaining, my Irish, Mexican, Russian friend. All right, we just took a four mana enchantment, gains you life. Kiki Jiki, and Bone Crusher Giant. Kiki Jiki makes copies which will gain you more life. Well, I like a Hollowed Fountain too, though. That gives us Steam Vents, Hollowed Fountain, and Sacred Foundry. Oh, I like that a lot. But what about them combos? What? Oh, man. Mike is literally going through the whole gamut of his voices now. For some reason, it is easier to start no accent <laughs> on new sentence. <laughs> this is fucking wild. All right. So we got Bone Crusher, Hollowed Fountain, Kiki McJiki. Kiki. 
Kajiki Jiki. <clears throat> face Fetus. That's true. Face Fetus does shut off activated abilities, and Kiki Jiki has an activated ability. That is true. That is a combo. But that's it's like the opposite. It's not. It's a connection between the two cards, Michael. Why oh, you like this, Michael? How about they connect your face to your butt? <laughs> uh, I'd prefer you didn't. <laughs> I'd prefer it if that didn't happen. Well, sock on the masters, huh? Oblivion ring. I can put an oblivion ring on Kiki Jiki. Uh, Kiki Jiki can make a copy of of Worm Coil Engine. That's pretty good. I like that. What if you I'm change your accent? Change it to what? Beats me. It. I'll take. What your father did to you for 1,000. He said, beats me. Oh. It was a abusive... I get it. Okay. Now. I'm just going to take the worm coil engine because Kiki Jiki can copy it and that's the connection that I'm sticking with. Oh, Felidar Guardian. If we get that Saheeli before the end of this pack, we get two infinite combos. Actually, does Kiki Jiki hey. copy Felidar? Duh. Oh, boy. Tireless Tractor, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. COVID-19 months, yikes. I believe that is uh, two infinite combos. Total. Worm Coil Engine is a creature. Felidar Guardian's a creature. That might be the extent of the of the connection, unfortunately. I can do an Irish accent, but I don't know if I can do a Scottish one. Oh my goodness, Sahili Rai. It's we have a little different. multiple infinite combos in our deck right now. Felidar Guardian, the, the the logical connection between Felidar Guardian and Sahili is that they are an infinite combo, and that's what I'm sticking with. I'm going to put the Heliod over in the sideboard for now. That's pretty... Walking Ballista with Heliod now? Sahili Rai can copy an artifact, and Walking Ballista is an artifact, so we're going to take Walking Ballista. And now the Heliod comes back, and we have multiple infinite combos in our deck right now. And that's pretty friggin' exciting. Ancient Grudge destroys artifacts. Walking Ballista is an artifact. So I'm going to take the Ancient Grudge for the sideboard. Oh, wow. We got Walking Ballista, Heliod, Felidar Guardian, Zealous Conservus, Kiki Jiggy, and Sahili. Seasoned Pyromancer <coughs> has synergy with Ancient Grudge because they both like being in the graveyard. Let's see. <laughs> did, you, did you literally change the accent at the, at the yes at the end? Yes. Okay. <laughs> All right. You know that's that's something you did there. Uh, is Gideon better? <clears throat> Last pick was Ancient Grudge. I don't know if there's a connection there. I'll just take Season Pyromancer because of the reasons you mentioned. My favorite movie. Can you give me a genre? Picking one movie only. Your is favorite really foreign film. Ooh. Hmm. All right. Season Pyromancer is a creature. It's a two-two. Uh, it's a red creature. I guess we could take that. No, I don't even know. That's all, that's all I got. <clears throat> well, I don't think the hollowed fountain came back. I'm pretty sure it was in this pack, but this is a two mana creature. This is a two mana creature. I'll just take it. It is very hard what, to what? use an accent and to answer a question. Michael, can you name all the pornography films that your mother has been in? <laughs> nah. Is it because it's too many? It's too many to C. name. C. Oh, good gravy. This is a creature. This is a creature. I'm just going to take the creature. I don't know. There's no real connection, guys. Uh, Bane Slayer Angel. 5-5 five, five for 5. <sighs> I think Is It Charm is probably the best pick here, but I don't know the connection between these two. Protection from demons and dragons. I mean, this is just a creature, so it goes... I think they both do damage and have weapon. Oh, never mind. <laughs> well, you can still finish your thought. It has pace. Oh, is it a 2-2? Two -two? This kills all the 2-2s. Two I'll take the pyroclasm. Put it in the side build. There'll be no goddamn 2-2s two in my games. Wow, that was a good one. You should have done this the whole time. Oh, you think so? Yeah, now you sound like the Yoda in the video. You know that video? No. You don't know the video where he's like, you can wear me as a backpack. I'll be your backpack while you run. You know that video? 
The seagull video, Michael? You don't know the seagull video with the Yodas? Michael, please. I am sorry, I do not know. Oh, Jesus, Maybe I Michael. Do play it, but then you get demonetized, and that's no good. Oh, God. Do we have to continue accent for full draft? I, I don't know, actually. It's a bit much if we do, huh? What does it say? Play it even while I speak British dialect. Uh. Oh, God. I can't even imagine doing it for the whole draft. That's a bit much, you know? All right. All right. So salty. I hope hope the drafting portion was enough because I don't know if we can continue to do uh to do the voice for the remainder of the of the draft or the remainder of the the matches. But are you sure? I I think. Do you want to? Not really. Okay. But I will if I must. Oh wow! Now now Mike's all in. Okay. So look at these combos in this deck though. We got Sahelia Eye, and we got Fill Out Our Guardian. We have Walking Ballista, and we have Heliod. Oh, you didn't take the Kiki? Yeah, it's right here. The, oh, yeah, we have the Kiki too, then. Yeah, I know. I'm putting. Them, I'm getting them, man. <laughs> oh, get it faster. God. Look at all these. We have three infinite combos in our deck. And also, don't forget... Uh, and some of those combo with each other, so... Kiki, Jiki, and, and Felidar Guardian work together as well. Yeah. So... <laughs> Do you have to be, maybe Hunter has to go out. Hold on, let me go let Hunter out real quick. Give me, like, two minutes. All right... We need three cuts. Special request Four fulfilled. Cuts. What? Hey, Michael Frank, it's back. Can you please call him a banana? I'll don't. Dang. <laughs> Dang. That was messed up. If you both had to pick a commander for the other, what would you pick and why? I would pick something from Legends, like one of them shitty Legend creatures. <laughs> Not the plague. Thank you so much for the bits, buddy. Really appreciate it. From one banana to another. We also have Stoneforge Mystic. This deck seems really good. It's not a good answer, Frank. I don't know enough about Commander to pick one. Yeah, I was thinking that might be the problem. That's the only problem. Like, I'm trying to think of, like, the most terrible legendary creature that's ever printed. Like, one of those, like, generic 7-4s for 9 mana in, like, Legends. That literally just has no ability. It's just a vanilla 7-4. Like, Angus McKenzie or some bullshit. That is a that is a th that is one. Hold on, I'm gonna look it. I'm gonna look it up. I'm looking up legends. Legends. <laughs> They're all mostly bad. Whatever, man. Did Katie come back in? <coughs> Didn't see her. I could be your backpack while you run. Um, Angus is actually yeah. Angus was not the. I was just using an example. You think Angus might actually have abilities? Angus. Legends. Legendary. Search it. Okay, let's see. Let's see. You're going to be Barktooth War, War, Warbeard. It is a 6-5 for 7 mana with no abilities. He is devious and cunning in both appearance and deed. Beware the Warbeard for this brute bites as well as he barks. Well, he's got sweet art at least. Right down there, Hunter. All right, it might be too sweet then. I might have to find something worse for you. What about Jasmine Boreal? That's pretty bad. Those are my least favorite colors. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I'm like, white green. This is literally his worst. Oh, Isamar is good. But Isamar kind of lends itself to like an aggressive strategy, which I feel like you can actually build around. Jasmine Boreal is just literally a 4 or 5 ship bird that you'll probably never cast in a game of Commander. I could be your backpack while you run. All right, so what are we going to do here? We need to cut, like, four cards. I think Season Pyromancer can go. Blade Splicer can go. Carry Zev can go. I don't care about that. Got Dude, why is this cat being so freaking loud right now? Shut up, little man. Gah. Maybe they cut the Ral? No, I don't like that. It's a good Planeswalker. All right, so I think Mirror Crusader is just too good with with equipment. I think Monster Mentor is good. Maybe we cut the Aurelia. Thank you. Mm, cutting a creature in a deck with a sword is weird, though. I'll cut the Ral. I could see cutting the Ral. I think that's fine. 
our blue is very, very minimal. We have literally Sahili. <laughs> so we have Is It, Flooded Strand. I'm going to add one island just to have it. Hunter, go. What are you doing, dude? Come on. Hunter. Oh my god, dude. He's like under the desk. I'm like, I, it's it, he's just really in the way. I love you, bud. Go Gotta go. go. Gotta yeah. go. Alright. So we got lots of... Yeah, our red and green. Our red and white are actually pretty equal. Considering, like, we have one extra red card to go here. Dude, I can't handle... I can't handle these dudes. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, we're definitely cutting one of these. So six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Versus five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, that seems good. Heliod is infinite with Ballista. That's why we put them in the same pile later when we yeah, earlier. He gives, he gives things a counter when, you when we were going right? for our infinite combos. He's laying on the floor. Oh no, he's getting up. He's going away. What is your deal? Well, this hand would be good if we didn't have only one land. All right. We'll give it a go. I don't love it, but I'll deal with it. Uh, one and done. You have to pick one card of every type before you... No, not really, because it's really hard to do, especially with enchantments and stuff. You'd end up with a deck that, like, isn't really super playable. Because there's, like, seven card types. <laughs> so, like... <clears throat> <clears throat> Alright, we're just going to kill that. He likes to talk about his poker game with his mom right now. <laughs> Michael, did you want to play poker with me tonight? Mom! I'm streaming with my friends! Or, you know, I was just talking to my actual poker group who are trying to run another game tonight. God damn, you guys are maniacs. Why do they still let you play? I would have kicked you out years ago. <laughs> they don't know the pain yet. It's going to take a couple more of me to win before they're like, wait a minute. A couple more of you? So multiple Michaels? <laughs> uh, we need more Michaels. I do think that might be the problem, though, if I just, like, if I win, like, you know, two out of every three games I play. Yeah. But I mean, I definitely got lucky a couple times, so, you know, who knows. Multiple suit is about many Michaels and pizza. That's true. That is true. And so I only think two people are showing interest, so we might not have enough. Is one of them your dad? No. Your dad doesn't even, you're not, your dad's not even interested in your poker game? No, man. It's messed up. That is messed up. I'm so sorry. I'm not that sorry, but I mean, like, it felt like a friend. I felt like I should, I should say that as his friend, you know. Unfortunately, Karn isn't even going to be good here. Maybe you won't. Can you do a step where you only draft good cards? Got him. Who did you get? Yeah. 
Nobody. Not Sam. Wow. Is butt cheeks one word or should I spread them? <laughs> <laughs> well, when you're talking about words, we don't talk about spreading the words. That's just not how we do it. So. And you took two damage to kill one one. Yeah, but now they don't get to draw their cards. So, pff, who who's the big winner? Let's just draw Walking Ballista next turn. That'd probably be ideal. Well, we'd win the game on the spot, so. What more do you want ideal to mean? <laughs> what? What more do you want ideal to mean? Uh, I guess. I guess nothing. Give me that card. <laughs> Oh, man, they're going to murder us right of that guy? Oh, well. That's a two for one. Hugh, 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 hugh. Well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana sources to five actual cards. Not the best, but... Uh... Look at that beautiful chicken. We still have live draws. Like, specifically, this guy. That's a... Fuck, that's not... That wasn't a live draw at all. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we go to one here. So you're saying there's a chance. One? This is... Oh. That's nine, buddy. He's right. Watch the next cards when we walking, Ballista. There's a Felidar Guardian. Wow, those were, all three of those would have been decent here. Let's bring in this guy. Plasm. If you dazzle him. Char seems bad here. Yeah, you're right. Chat Clasm if you dazzle him. Clasm him if Thank you know what? Never mind. Cassius, thanks so much, three somebody. Welcome back. <clears throat> I could be your backpack while you're running. Cat's going nuts. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. Mm -hmm. He was never being aggro like that when I was down here. It's because he's he's just got it. He's just in a mood. <laughs> mood. Big mood. Cat wants to be your backpack. I relate to that cat because I also get in a mood and make warble noises. Ow. 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 That's how he sounds. That's literally the thirtieth cat alive. Your mother's the thirtieth cat alive. Doesn't make any sense. You hear him? I bet you guys I can hear him. him. I'm not talking to you. Obviously, you can hear him. You're in the same room. Ah, oh, dang it. We got two different combo pieces here. Yeah, but you can make copies of it now. Ooh, 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 ooh. I heard York Permit Patties and Cheese Sticks are ultimate combo, but I'm not... No, that's disgusting. Disgusting! Your cat sounds like a Daft Punk effect pedal. Wow. <laughs> One more time. got to celebrate you know that song no i never heard that song that was literally everywhere for like a year yeah you never, you never heard it <laughs> it's run all over the place oh, wow they're dreadboarded dreadboard in the city i'm just gonna play gilded Lodi. Use all the mana that's in my pool, my dude. Mentor is fun with Ballista? What does that mean? I don't even understand that. I don't even know what's happening right now. Dude, what are they doing? I have literally no... Do you mean Lotus? Oh, the ability mentor. 
I think he meant monastery mentor because that's what I was thinking. I'm like, what? I don't get it. I oh, don't understand thing. it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we can do it for eight and then shoot three of them. Not bad. I feel like it's not great, though. This is five, six, seven, eight. So we can just go shoot, shoot, shoot. Shoot, shoot, shoot. What do we take? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Mm -hmm. Hmm. So if we draw a Heliod, do we just win, right? We need we need four on this thing. So it's four. And then Sahili, or uh, Heliod's three, so it's seven, nine. So we actually win if we have nine mana. I mean, there's no point in Sahili copy Lotus Ballista for four. That, that seems... I mean, because then there's no point in putting the Sahili down and just having it at one, because then it just dies from Carry Zev, which has menace so we're literally just throwing a Sahili out for no no benefit my problem with just playing Sahili is they can kill Sahili if we play it so then we if we draw Felidar guarding it's just worse so like no if you're if your opponent's playing white if your opponent's playing Jeskai like and they play and they have a Sahili like you just kill it there's no <laughs> The problem is we have an infinite combo with both of these, so if we lose either one. We can also wait one turn to Ballista. Yeah, I agree. I agree with that. I can just take seven here. I don't love it. No? No, sir. I don't love it. <laughs> yep. That's good. I'd rather kill that anyway, so... What are you picking a gunk out of your ear? Something like that. Fucking gross. <laughs> Disgusting. It was fucking one of his. So there's like multiple combos we can get. Also, if we just draw like friggin' pyroclasm here, it'd be insane, right? It'd be pretty good. I didn't say mud, I said crud. We got some cr <laughs> fucking crud. You're really good at drawing lands. Boy, I know. We've drawn three spells this game, just so I want to be clear. One, two, six, seven, eight, nine to three. Yep. Yeah, we've drawn mana sources and three actual things to do with them. Yep. Disgusting. Ooh, 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 ooh. If we lose if we lose ballista we and we draw Heliod, we're probably dead because we have nothing on this board. How come you make back on your own? On crop crasher. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we go to one here. Right, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. No, actually, we die if we don't kill something. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. No, that's right, right? There's only three of these attacking, right? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we can go to one here. All right, going to one. Hope I'm not miscounting. All right. <coughs> Hope they don't have a thing that kills us. Don't be a land. I can't win these games. Well, this guy's exerted. Uh -huh. Can we put enough counters on this to... No. Yeah, I didn't think so either. 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh. <coughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We can put two more counters, make it go to four, and then we die. <sighs> that would have been amazing. Wow. Too bad we couldn't have drawn that. Yeah, we didn't actually play magic those games. So. Yep, that was fun. <clears throat> cool. <coughs> having a good time, having a good time. Those are very uh, interactive games. Yeah, I got to draw lands. My opponent had was literally stuck on lands and still got to just draw Bitter Blossom on turn two every game, so... You know, that's pretty good. <coughs> you doing all right, man? I'm doing fine. You don't sound like you're doing fine, is why I'm asking. Just dry throat. Really? Mm -hmm. You think just having a dry throat makes you, makes you cough? Your mistake was not declaring Heliod as your companion. Clearly. Yep, and then we get this this hand with two lands and a six drop and a seven drop. Guess we'll keep this because I don't want to go to five. Man, this deck looks great, but... I feel like I say the same things every single draft. Man, the deck looked great. Okay, why isn't it sticking to the friggin... I know it doesn't actually make sense, but it's just me, or do you literally have worse variants with uh, lands than any other people? It sure feels like it. No, it's definitely not just... <coughs> definitely not just you. Really would love it if this stuck to the edge here, but. No, I literally talk about it most of the time, but I don't know, like. It's hard to be like, well, it's not just in my head, guys, I swear. Because, you know, it feels like it doesn't make sense. <laughs> yep, get rid of that. And we're on the play, too. I almost, I almost prefer not to be on the play. Come on, Signet. I'm gonna go to the bathroom real quick. He's gonna take a poop. I am not. He's totally pooping. Sivbeck, thanks so much for the gifted subs, buddy. Really appreciate it. Although, Sivbeck, you yourself are not a sub, which is interesting. Thank you. I always find it interesting when people who are not subs gift subs. Shouldn't you yourself be the sub first? That's what I always wonder. Thank really you. appreciate that, man. Thank you so much, dude. Yep, and two lands now. <laughs> so here we go. Thank you. Although my opponent, I am sure, will draw their third land. And there it is. Beautiful, and they will have a play. Fourth, fourth mana source seems good. Another play, treasure map, perfect. But me, a plains. Not terrible, not terrible. If you get an infinite combo off, I'll buy some dig Oh man, that's a deal. That's like the best deal I've heard all day. But I haven't heard many deals all day. But th that being said, it's a very good deal, nonetheless. Hey, 
If you don't, I'll buy you a cherry soda to drown your sorrow. Man. I'm liking it. Even if I lose, I win. Okay. Well. I don't even have a creature to put a counter on. Oh, Emery hits two hits two hits two artifacts. Seems about on par for this mana base. Doesn't do anything, unfortunately. Oh god. Guess I'll kill you. Hey man, did you wash your hands? Yes. I didn't hear the water going. Would you like to touch my hands and feel the wetness? Why would I want to feel the wetness on your hands? To verify I washed them. I bet he didn't wash his hands. I Disgusting! Up, I put up and you did and you shut up, so. You put up and I shut up? Yeah. I don't think that makes any sense, man. Are you doing okay? Pretty sure I'm fine. Are you? Yeah, man. I'm the fixinator. Oh, God. Oh, there's a Sahili. But they got their Felidar Guardian in the graveyard. Oh, good. Give that guy. The preferred term is pee, -pee hands. That's true. It's like Pepe hands. <clears throat> Only with pee. Only with urine. That's correct. Well, they only have two cards in hand, but they do have a shell dock aisle online, so that's cool. Mike B, feel my moist hands. No, don't do it. Oh, Stoneforge Mystic, that gives us a sword, I guess. I guess. You're in big trouble, gross. Three infinite combos in our deck, we have yet to hit one of them, so... And two of them even overlap, so, you know. Our opponent would also mulligan to six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You're only allowed to draw one, odd two, pieces three. of the combo that don't work together. <clears throat> it's true. No exceptions. You do got to wash your hands after your shift at the bull semen factory. Disgusting! <laughs> Dude, why is he being so loud? I guess he wants food. Uh, yeah, but it's like way too early. He's a lean boy. Wow, Rack does Signet, huh? You'll hit Kiki soon. Yeah, that's all I want. That's all. I'll uh, draw the old triple red card. That'd be a classic. <clears throat> yeah, that'd be great if I, uh, why didn't they attack there, I wonder? Well, we're definitely bringing in Ancient Grudge against this deck that has Gilded Lotus, Pirate Spell Bomb, Simic Signet, Pirate Rakdos Signet. Wait, we don't have a way to splash the Ancient Grudge though, right? That's sad. I guess we can we can cast it off of the uh, you know the thing by paying red the gilded lotus man I'm talking about the flashback Michael you know that you know that you can flash it back right what's that what's this flashback you speak of 
Was that like companion? Guys, after the accident, he just hasn't I just started been playing Magic. He just hasn't been means. the same since the accident. <laughs> That is a good card. <clears throat> yep. It's pretty good. They can get a Felder Guardian or an Emery. I hope they try to get Felder Guardian combo. Oh, God. This is... Does that still work? Yeah, because you're making a copy of Ryan. I guess. Ah, <sighs> cool. Our opponent can literally fucking get their one combo in their deck off of Scarab God faster than we can get two of our com like two two co two cards of one combo in our deck. It's pretty impressive. Yeah. Believe it or not, Mike isn't at home. Please leave a message at the beep. Who could it be? Believe it or not, it's Mike B. <laughs> These animals are being real active. This is real, yeah, this is real ridiculous. Crispy cheese on top. Do, 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 Crispy do, do, do. cheese on top? Yeah. Oh, on top of what? I was just talking about crispy cheese, man. You don't like crispy cheese? I, You know, I do. Nice. Nice. <laughs> hey, man. Nice. Believe it or not, it's crispy cheese. Oh, I'm not going to do that one on the stream. Which one? Nothing. It's nothing to do the chat. It's just something I thought of. He just thought of something that he's not going to do on the stream. <laughs> not going to say. Thank you. Sal Rindon, thank you so much for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. Welcome back. Oh, yeah, this is a hand. All right. I'll keep it because you know what? Magic is an abusive relationship where I feel lucky to have lands in my hand. <laughs> you know what's going to happen, right? <laughs> Yeah, I know exactly what's going to happen, but what can I do? Mulligan this, hope I get at least two lands in my six cards. Very unlucky. I'll actually crack this first so that I can go get uh, this. Say no. Pass the turn. Pa pass the turn. Pass the turn. Pass, pass the turn. Pass the turn. Did you hear that song I just sang? Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Did you like it? It's all right. Yep, there it is. This is how it starts. All right. You could play a better game. Dang. Dang. Oh, no. Angel Crunch. Kiki, Kiki. All right. What if Magic changes the rule to every time, like your your lands are in a different deck, and when you draw a card, you draw a card from your deck and your land deck, so you never miss land drops. If I hadn't watched so many drafts mm -hmm. where you have land problems, I would never believe you. And if you told me, yeah, I know. That's the way I feel. Like I feel like if I complain about land, I'm just that dude being like, "Man, I get land screwed all the time." And then it's like, "Yeah, dude, it's variance. It happens just as much as the next person." But then, like as I play Magic, I'm like, "No, this is ridiculous." Yep, here we go. <laughs> here we go. It's like when everyone, like, if you go to any review of any poker app or poker site, you'll get a bunch of negative views saying how the how it's quote-unquote rigged, but no one ever has any data or, or way to back that up. Well, thankfully, I got these <clears throat> draft vids. Yeah, at least you got some evidence for yourself. Yeah, for all the good it does. Guys, I can prove to you that I... I'm less lucky than other people when I play Magic the Gathering. What a wild world we live in. 
At least you drew one spell. Oh, how good for me. This is it's going to get, buddy. I know. You know what? I know. So four. We can play for that for four. So if we just play Gilded Lotus here, next turn we can play... Chandra into Chandra? That seems kind of cool. I'm sure nothing will go wrong with that. Here we go. Here we go. Guys, I'm ready. And here we go. You know, you know what that's from? The Joker. From Dark Knight, Michael. Yeah. Is it? Here we go. I think it's just kind of general saying. It's not. I'm going to look up here we go on YouTube and <clears throat> see what comes up. Not just the internet. A lot of things came up. It wasn't the wasn't the Joker. Well, you did find it. I mean, it is here, but you know. That's rude. I agree. Goodbye, Big Shandy. So what do you think the odds of they have the other? Oh, it's 100%. Right they now? will always have their combo, and we will never have our combo. Any combo. Any one of the three combos. Yeah. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. So we can actually go Chandra into Mentor, but that doesn't seem great. And we're literally just crossing our fingers. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, they puts it down to two, right? That doesn't do anything. Two, three, four, five. Well, how much does it cost to activate her? Negative two. But they blink her first. They play Felidar Guardian, blink oh, this, yeah, yeah, goes work. back up to three, and <clears> then <throat> they copy it. Just checking. What's that static? I have no idea. Yep, and now we just lose. So, O2, unfortunately. I thought this deck was great. Because it had three infinite combos. All right, I'm going to move my cell phone, see if that changes anything. I just moved it. Interesting. Wow, it's Mike shaking his leg. All right, so there's paying six mana for a Grave Daddy. because I think it's worth more. Gee, that sure is a lot of zombos. Gee, Willikers, Mike, that sure is a lot of zombos. <laughs> it's okay, guys. We've got a lightning helix. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Let's exile the top card of our library. It was a land. G Willikers is six, two, four, six, Definitely eight, lethal. ten, twelve. It's exactly lethal, so we'll have to kill this first. And just play Kiki Jiki and fingers crossed, I guess. That's it. That's our that's our last ditches. We drew one, two, three, four non land cards. It's versus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine spells. Or nine lands. So, <clears throat> what can you do? <laughs> you okay? Stressful, mm -hmm. right? No, I'm just tired. Oh. What time? Oh, yeah, because you stayed up all night playing poker instead of actually going to bed at a normal time. <sighs> Is
Is it true that under your bed is Mike's under your beard is Mike's stat? I would never keep Mike's stat under my beard. <clears throat> well, the poker game ended about twelve thirty. Well, the poker game ended about a bugger day to body 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 Mike B should get a job as a poker hustler. <clears throat> I agree. Unfortunately, there's not a real way to gamble online in the U.S. without some system like just friends, you know. It's my <clears throat> friend. Unless you live in New system. Jersey, Vegas, or there's one other state that you can do it. Wow, they just played engineering explosives for five. Fell out of guardian one time. Stone Forge Mystic. Cool. <clears throat> These have been great matches. Just great. Just fantastic. I feel bad because it's two steps in one, and really our deck was I think our deck was great in terms of like <laughs> having yeah, multiple infinite abysmal. Multiple infinite combos. <clears throat> I mean, yeah, this is a turn two Stone Forge, which is pretty decent. But we just have to try not to draw Batter Skull off the top. What about adjacent betting like my book? That's different. That's like sports betting. That's not That's not a realistic way to earn money unless you get lucky. Jake said if we, if we do if we do one infinite combo, then he'll buy me some tikka masala. It's a good deal for you. I know. What happens if you lose though? What do you got to give him? Uh he he then he'll give me a cherry coke. Oh, so you can't lose. That's what I said. I'm like, even if I lose, I win. <clears throat> All right. No batter skull off the top. I, dude, I was like five mana artifact. All right, this might be a game because we have multiple sources of mana, but also multiple spells. Can you guys imagine? Slow down, buddy. You don't have to draw another land for the rest of the game. If you do two infinite combos, I'll buy Hunter a box of Chunola. Is that a dog food? Or is that like a dog treat? I don't think gambling is a good way to make money consistently, but I do think it's fine as a way to, uh, you know, make money sometimes. I don't think it's a way to if you're if you're depending on making money. I don't think it's good. No, I'm just saying there's another thing as a professional sports better. Like that's not really a thing. What about your dad? No. Well, yeah. I mean, there's probably some lucky guy who's done it, but generally no. Poker is a lot more skill based, so there is a realist. You can realistically make a living off. It. <clears throat> not easy though. But what if it was easy? And buddy, I'd already be doing it. <clears throat> Four infinite combos? I mean, only got, we only got two matches left. Two does, games left, that is does possible. Does that mean we have to stop our infinite combo, get it destroyed, and then bring it back and do it again? And then do a different one? Yeah. I'm going to be honest, that seems tricky. Also, what are Nug Biscuits? If you have to ask, Michael, you'll never know. Poker grinding is absolutely brutal from the people I know who have tried. Yeah, it's definitely not easy. First, you have to get really good, like good enough to actually make a living on it. On top of that, there's still swings. So like, But it's also just mentally exhausting is the thing. Sure, of course. And if you get in a mood where like you're playing poorly, like it's really hard to... It's hard to notice that, actually. That's when you have to stop. Right, but that's my point. Like Sometimes you don't even realize it. You're like, oh, dang, I'm playing really badly. I'm actually pretty good at that. Playing badly? I bet. Oh, ha! Got him. Oh, that was that's that was rough. You got me there. I'm really good at that. I'm gonna kill this thing because I don't want you drawing even a single card. For consideration, movies equal thirty dollars. Poker tourney equals thirty dollars. Both are anything, both have potential to win. Thank uh, you. What movie costs thirty dollars? So, Riyaj, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome mm -hmm. back, my dude. Do, 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 also, I'm just playing do, 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 with random people at low stakes. Like, once you get into higher stakes, people are better. It's harder to win. Like, once you play with higher stakes, Michael Stark gets the Angus. He gets the Sirloin. Right now, he's got by. the low stakes. He's got like that that flank stake. 
Hey man, flank can be good if you treat it right. Right, but it's still a low tier stake. Well, two tickets, yeah, but when you enter a poker tournament, you don't. You're not buying, you're buying two, two tickets, right? So that doesn't. I kind of get your point, though. I don't get anybody's point. Oh, tap this guy down forever. I'll tap you down forever. Look at this. We got Walking Ballista and Kiki Jiki in hand. I think as, as long as I'm not just like losing a bunch of money playing poker, I think it's fine. What's in Stakeums, buddy? <clears throat> don't don't you want? I hope know. at least steak. At least. A nice dinner out is thirty dollars. There, that's a better analogy. Sure. Well, they have no pressure, so we're just gonna use planeswalkers to kill all their creatures. Will you shut the heck up? Dang it, you little biscuit! It's ninety percent ums though. Ten <laughs> percent steak, ninety percent ums. Oh look, we won a game where we draw an even <clears throat> dist uh, not even an even, but a, a a more proportional distribution of lands and spells. Who saw that coming? My point is poker is entertainment cost. Sure. No, don't yell at that little biscuit. I love. <laughs> oh, puppy dog eyes. I oh. <gasps> we just need to draw a blue source. And have this survive. And not have them doomfall or discard us or some shenanigans. But other than that, man, we got it. Let's do it. Oh, God, we're so close. Also, we have this. Whew, come on. Don't say Marsala. It's not Italian. It's Masala. M-A-S-A-L-A. -A. very different dishes to say the least. You're thinking of you're thinking of like Marsala from it from Italy. <laughs> Thank you, Leonard. Thanks so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. Twenty nine months. Good gravy, dude. No, Marsala is a word, and so is Masala. They're two different things. Yeah, Masala is an Indian spice. Marsala is a is a mushroom wine based sauce in Italian. Cooking. Does Vintage Cube start back up tomorrow? No, no, it does not. Icoria does. Icoria, blue source right now. Off the top. That's literally not what I asked for. That's the exact opposite of what I wanted. Oh, it's going to be so rough if you just have this combo and you're never able to play it. Yep, that's how it's going to go. <clears throat> Masala is a real word. I just Googled Yes, it's... Yes, that's correct. It's not Tika Marsala. It's Tika Masala. Yeah, it's a ma, not a mar. You know? Don't get your mas and your mars confused. But I can see if you only heard it a couple times, you might get the two confused. The two confused. Giuseppe Marsala. You know, like your great uncle, Giuseppe Marsala. Giuseppe Marsala. Marsala? That's yes. wild. You think they're going to loot here? Why would they not? Why wouldn't they think about it? That's literally what I said, only different. That's why I win. <laughs> How did you win? Explain it to me. How did I lose? No, no, no. You first. No, no. The onus is on you. No, no. The onions are on you, buddy. You got no goddamn onions? What are you talking about? Exactly. You don't have any onions, do you? I feel more amped up when I say Marsala because it's... Close to marsupial. Oh, Smokey Loki with the gifted sub to Mike Daddy B and Lil Biscuit. <laughs> Both of who are real real Twitch accounts that I am completely unfamiliar with. Apparently it does start up tomorrow for wait, what? Wait, no. The twenty first, the twenty second? Oh my god. No way does Vintage Cube start up tomorrow. It seems the same when they have a new set out, right? I don't care. When's Ikoria actually legal? April 22nd to 29th. The 400 for all the cubes. Vintage Cube is always good times. We'll have a small update to this cube since the last time we ran it, which was check notes a week and a half ago from this article's public. <gasps> what did you say about Ikoria? Is it legal yet? Like Legal what? 
Legal like, instant. Yeah, yeah. On, okay. on, on the internet. Okay. Not in real life because it, it doesn't exist. For them to be running I machine. agree, but I get so burnt out mm. by the time. Like, so you draft Ikoria for like a month, then two months, then three months, right? And I get so burnt out by the end of that period well, that like... Before the end of the period, dude. What? I'm, I'm pretty sure most people after a month don't want to After like a month and a half, right? So like any any distraction up until I start drafting Ikoria, like if you want to delay me drafting Ikoria for like a month and a half with like things like cubes and stuff, that's totally fine by me because it just shortens the length of time I'm going to have to draft Ikoria, which I'm sure is fine. But... Well, I missed the land drop. I think I'm not going to play poker tonight. I think you should probably take a break. Well, I just want to get some sleep, really. And I know if I don't stop playing till if it goes till the same time it did last night, like 12, 12, 30, I probably won't get to bed till 1, 1, 30. And that's pretty late. Oh, well, planes didn't actually want that. So that's good. I should probably just play on like Friday nights and Saturday nights and just keep it to that. And Sunday nights probably. Probably Monday nights too. <laughs> you can play on Tuesday night too if you wanted to. It also seems insane to me that these guys are willing to play poker every night. like. Which I think is good for you. I think you should take advantage of that for as long as they're willing to. You know what I mean? Right. No Wednesday though. Yeah, you don't want to be... T don't be crazy. <clears throat> don't go breaking Mike's heart. <laughs> I couldn't even... Also, as well as I'm doing, like, I can't guarantee I'm going to win every game, so I think skipping some is fine. If we draw a blue source, we could just win, right? You could occasionally play on Wednesday and Thursday, just not every one, maybe 80%. <laughs> yeah, Nathan's right. It's like four out of five Wednesdays a month, you know? I think it's, I think that's fine. I've set a hard rule for myself, though, where I do no rebuys. Oh, so. God. Of course, they're going to flicker their friggin' murderous red cap and kill our Chandra. Where I was like, oh, cool. If we draw a blue source, we just win. Of course. Well, it's okay. We didn't draw a blue source or any playable cards. Maybe only play on Chicken Sunday or your birthday. Oh, wait a minute. That's every day. Every day is Chicken Sunday. <laughs> this is all I can do right now, so I might as well just play it and blink of planes or some bull honky. And then hope they don't find a way to kill it. And then we draw blue and win. <clears throat> also, if I play tired, I'm probably more likely to lose as well. Because I'll probably make worse decisions. So Wait, you think so? I think so, yeah. Wild. I know, it's a crazy concept, right? Michael B is wiling out, guys. <laughs> I, don't, I still don't know what it means, but it sounds like he's, it sounds like he's probably doing that. Don't go breaking Mike's heart. Hey, chat, can you guys not go breaking Mike's heart? What if you play drunk? Playing poker drunk is one of the worst ideas ever. You are almost guaranteed to lose. Ooh, ooh. Definitely not going to block because then I take two and then you blink it and it dies. So... We'll just hope you tap out for something like Scarab God, but also hope that I draw a blue source and win the game. Oh, there's the classic Mike's British government plan. Well, you know what they say, Michael. Every day is, is chicken, chicken Sunday. Sunday. Here we go. Here we go. Can we do it? No. No, we can't. It's really frustrating. I thought you conceded. I was like, wait, what? Well, I mean, I was tempted to because I'm just tired of it. Like, it's just annoying, so. I mean, they should have actually waited until I negative this because now I just get to put things in different places, but. You know, it doesn't matter. They'll still just attack this for two and then blink this guy and then attack it for another two. So. I lost in a solitary tournament yesterday. Wow. A solitary tournament? That's wild. It's a sol solitary tournament. It's a sol sol solitaire. I fell asleep watching the video updated yes uploaded yesterday morning while smoking a couple big fat doobies 
to co- commemorate 420, and I didn't wake up until literally an hour, I assume you're going to say, ago. Nobody knows it. Michael B. knows it. There's Michael B. up in the trees. All right, well, you got you do have a backup infinite combo. <laughs> That's it. That's the ticket right there. That's the ticket. Yep. So six mana, six mana, seven mana, eight mana. Turn eight, one, two, three, four. Missed four land drops. So again, we're back to the situation where if you don't draw the proportional number of lands to spells, you don't get to play Magic the Gathering. Um. <clears throat> cool. It it is indeed cool. Let's try to do one of these jobbies. Play this gentleman. See if they counter it. Probably gonna remand it. They did not. Well, yeah, because it doesn't do that much. Activate old smuggly boy. Well, crew. And then we can discard something cool. Oh, a land. Let's get rid of one of these two. We'll play our land. And then hope for a McGee comes next turn, huh? Kiki McGee, guys. Kiki McGee. That should mean Jiggy Jiggy Jiggy. Nifty Chris just sent me this. Oh, Jesus. I don't understand. It's Michael B. Jordan. Oh. And this is Michael B. Now I and this is you. And this is Michael B. Jordan. I got you. They're similar, but different. <laughs> it's pretty good. Oh, crying out loud. That's that's solid gold. Solid gold. It's definitely not. That's 100% Nick Cannon. Oh, it is? Wait, that's Nick Cannon? I didn't think that was well. Why didn't can't... you put Michael B. Jordan? Wait, are you? Oh, it is, but it's real close. Yeah, they look very similar in those pictures. Yeah, like here's a Michael B. Jordan picture, and like. They both have little mustaches and goatees here. And like and shaved heads. And I would assume like the joke needs to be like, wait, why did Nick Cannon had a show called Wild and Out? Oh wow, that's that's wild. Oh look, they killed hey, they killed it. It he died. Uh so there's no infinite combos left. No, Heliod and Walking Ballista Michael. Okay, so you still got spouts. <laughs> this is game one. I don't know anymore. No, this is game two. We won game one. So you're saying there's a chance. I'm saying I'm just discouraged. I'm just real sad. I mean, they can tell us five this turn, and they have five freaking cards in hand, so. Well, they have to keep a mana to tap your worm. Two, three, four. A mana? What What does one mana do? No, four mana. I, s- I meant four mana. Did I say one mana? <laughs> you said they have to keep a mana. I think I meant to say I keep up mana. Oh. Well, you didn't say that. Okay. Maybe I did. Maybe I didn't. Well, no, you didn't. Maybe I did. Maybe I didn't. We all no heard. To, there's no way to know. We all heard it, Michael. Oh, we all heard it, that's what you Nick say. Cannon. That's what you oh, say. that's okay. They're just going to bounce it. Oh, that's much better. Yeah, I'm just going to go to the next game. This is not worth my, my life. This is not worth my life essence. To play this nonsense. So we have Johnny Smuggler's Copter. That little biscuit. You give me my heart. Ooh, Michael B. Jordan. 
It's really Nick Cannon. Man, I was totally thinking it was Michael B. and Michael B. Jordan. See, that's see that made more sense to me in my head. Please, shush. Ah, no one's got time for your shenanigans. Oh, good. Seven drop, eight drop. Double five drop. I made the worst of the two jokes. Oh man, Chris. The problem. The only problem is that I just didn't think of the Nick Cannon Wild and Out reference. I guess I'll just keep this fucking six card hand. It's okay, guys. We'll get there. J.K. Yep. <laughs> yep. My turn for another land. Yep. Okay. Classic. It's about par for course. It's, it's, I expect nothing. I have no expectations so when it comes sure to the shuffle. Just to make sure that's more lands than you need to cast the only spell you have. So, yeah. It's it's more lands than I need to cast every spell in my deck except for one. So, you won't draw any more, right? Of course not. Nathan, there's a difference between expecting it and being disappointed by it even when you expect it. If I expect to get nothing for Christmas from my, from, from like, you know, someone I'm expecting, something I would like to get something from, doesn't mean I'm not disappointed when it happens. Having the, the foresight to know it's going to happen does not remove the disappointment when it does. Those are not, those are not the same. Acceptable. Did they just What did they just put a counter on this and then pass the turn? Oh good. Hey, it wasn't a land. It was an Izzet Signet. Oh, so land light. <laughs> or it's actually worse than a land kind of. Uh they type whoops at six fifty seven, so that was three minutes ago. That is not when they did this. Stop. I'm gonna lock you guys in the bedroom for crying out loud. Mike B, what do you want for Christmas? Uh, my two front teeth. Oh, now they're going to do it for... Why didn't... Though they didn't have a blue last turn. That's interesting. You could save that to get some triggers. <laughs> I sure could. Michael, what do you want to be for Halloween? I don't, I don't really do Halloween. Oh, I don't do Halloween. When was the last time you Halloweened? Okay. Last year. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. <laughs> Why well, you lie? Liar! Michael B., what do you want for your birthday? Happiness. What do you want to be for your birthday? Dead. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Too dark? You know, a little. A little. Huh? Hoo hoo. Do all your bullshit. Do all... So we can actually steal this and then wooded foothills twice, which is nice. What do you want to be for your birthday? Dead. <laughs> 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 Ooh. One, two, three, four, five, Gilded Lotus. I just want the cards here. Give it to me! I'm gonna crack this in response so I don't get a land. Just kidding. Got a land. It's okay. It's a Chandra. It gets plus two, plus one, and trample if it's red. No, I want this to get it so that I can mentor onto that other that other jobby. You 
You could have mentored their dude to show dominance. That's yeah. Unfortunately, I don't feel like I have dominance. So, when are we going to get a hunter cam redemption for Channel Boy? That's a good question. I don't know. Whenever he sits still. Never Frank happen. and Mike, you guys want some food? Maybe. God, yes. Oh, there was a cat there. There's a cat everywhere, Michael. I just poked him with my heel. Oh, the old cat heel poke, huh? It's a classic. A classic Vlasic pickle. Well, they're only at eight. One, two, three, four, six, seven mana? What are they casting here? Oh, Garrick. Oh, what a nice little sweetie boy. A sweetie boy? <laughs> you heard me! Well, if they kill this, we get to go Chandra kill this, attack the Garrick. That's not the worst. I guess we're just hoping they don't have Slaughter Pact. Which, out of seven cards, they probably do. So I'm not really going to bank on that being the case. I really don't know why they're both being such shitbirds right now. Alright, Hunter, if you want to stay, like, right there, and don't move anymore. Oh, no, the cat's playing with that. Okay. Not playing with what? He's playing with the curtain. He stopped. Doesn't matter. This is just my life now. This is game three, right? Like, can we just draw Kiki Jiki and go nuts? But I guess, again, they have... Slaughter pack, so. What if they don't have slaughter pack? Doesn't matter, they do. But what if they don't? No, they do. Oh, okay. But did you ever think that maybe they don't? No, they do. Yep, that's what I figured you'd do. Now, step one of my prediction. Step two is I play Chandra, kill their Tatiova. Draw another land. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So wait, we've drawn Aurelia, Zealous Conscripts, and Chandra in terms of uh, non-land mana production cards. Kurt has switched from the food game to the cookie game. And Slaughter Pact time. Oh wow, that was downright shocking. Well, that's during Wild was going to kill our Chandra, unfortunately, but... Maybe they won't see it. Maybe they won't. Maybe they won't. But maybe they will. But maybe they won't. Did you ever think about that? No. I to be thought. fair, Chandra is also a mana-producing card. You know, you're not wrong. I've never thought about anything in my life. I know. I know. Now they're going to kill it that way. Well, that I guess that's also a way to do it. <laughs> Kiki Jiki. That does not combo the way I wanted to. Oh, crying out loud. One, two, three. I guess we'll at least scry and see what we hit. So we can create a token that's a copy of this. We can untap Sahelia. Oh, yeah, that doesn't do anything. Yep, definitely just going to keep that on top. Can we get the legendary one, two? The legendary one, two? Mm-hmm. God, I hope so. Zealous Concert is going to take in any of their lands, too, and that's also mana production. Oh, man. Three infinite combos in our deck. The amount of times we drew any of them is, I think, close to zero. <laughs> I think it's about one. And it was last game, and they had Slaughter Pact. <laughs> Slaughter Pact. Noxious Gear Hulk. Seems good. So we can actually... Well, it's unfortunate because we have uh, Ugin on top, which if we negative six, they still get to keep Wildwood, which is pretty unfortunate. 
But I guess at that point... Also, just get rid of your Sahili. Yeah. Should probably keep that one. <sighs> I think we just have to negative six here and go to one. All right, anything else is just terrible for us, right? Yeah. So long, so healing. I mean, they do have to spend their turn stirring Wildwood attacking, I would imagine. <laughs> yep, that's what I figured. Pay costs. Oh, did you see that? Oh, maybe they're going to activate it again. <laughs> yep, there goes you again. All right, we're drawing Walking Blister for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, for 6. Oh. Oh, what is that, a Golos with all the colors required? Hmm, seems good. Well, I guess we'll just kill it and go to 1 with our Walking Ballista. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12... Yep, can't let them flip that, so... And by flip, I mean... You know what I'm saying. I'm right with 21 life. We could just top deck a Heliod for, for crying out loud. Oh, boy. I mean, uncheck. This card could dominate the game. Buddy, they got four cards in hand. Ain't nothing getting unchecked here. You're probably right. Oh, look. They had an answer. Cool. All right, so Walking Ballista Heliod is no longer an option. Saheli Rai Felidar is no longer an option. Zealous Conscripts Kikijiki is no longer an option. So all three of our combos have been... Got it. Yep. This actually seems decent against them, to be honest. They have a Varaska, which makes black creatures. This is green. This is... However, Varaska does go up to four. But... That's fine. They don't really have anything to blink with that, I guess. Although they can just tap this down forever now, which is unfortunate. Which they're just going to do immediately. Yep. <sighs> My God. This has been a nightmare of a draft, unfortunately. Yeah, it's been a little rough.
Slaughter Pact and Response, last card in hand, right? No? Fascinating. More than any other channel, yours makes me want to come in here and just try to constantly zing the best one-liner jokes I can think of every five seconds. Oh, look, they did have Slaughter Pact. Wow. Who knew? I don't know why you let me get a Batter Skull. Yeah, that's weird. I guess, I mean, <laughs> it is what it is, I guess. What's up, Katie, my love? The decider is back. Kitty cat's making noise under the desk. And it's going to be a land for our very last turn of the game, I'm sure. Yep. If only they had one fewer blue, then we can equip the batter skull here and then just go ham, but... Actually, Kiki Jiki is still alive, isn't it? Yes. Watch where you're going, Michael. Kiki Jiki Kiki Jiki Every day It's Kiki Jiki Day Are there any nice muggers Or are they all mean Dang Michael Jiki Seems good. Seems good. And of course, I'm one minute shy of bouncing this, so. <sighs> ah, they're giving me two things. I mean, it's two more bodies. It's not terrible. Guess it's one more body. Boy, talking about having all the answers. Yep. I mean, they have no cards. If we can top tick Kiki Jiki, do we win? I think we do, but the odds of that are one in sixteen, so Oh, they also get to blink Terastin on again if they want to? Jesus. Yep, that's, that's pretty good. Pretty good. <clears throat> I think he just destroys his own lands, right? I would imagine so with this <clears throat> many. <laughs> yep, sure did. Yep. Kiki Jiki. Monastery Mentor. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. They can tap two of our things. And we only have three. Let's see if the next card is a Kiki Jiki, guys. <laughs> I 
Nope. Oh, three, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like. We can give our guys lifelink, right? But what does it matter? They just tap them. Yeah, they're tapping two of our guys. So, I mean, we can have tapped lifelinkers. So salty. And fla fragged camper. Thank you guys so much for the stipulation. Apologies. The deck did not play as planned. But uh, I've actually never had a deck that had three infinite combos in it and never drew one of them. Usually if my deck has one infinite combo, I can draw it regularly enough. If you had Kiki Jiki and Splinter Twin in your deck, you'd probably draw it more times than we drew uh, our three infinite combos. But um, what are you going to do? Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on twitch.tv slash franklapore, patreon.com slash franklapore, coolstuffinc, and manatraders.com. And uh, those are all great things to do if you want to support the channel and i'll see you guys next time thanks Shut for watching guys take my money